look. And you're going to know clear and see and we're going to have fun. Beautiful. So I'd like for you now to take a hold of your guide's hand and allow your guide to begin taking you on your journey. Begin to fly now. Feel the sensation and tell me what happens with your guide. I feel very light. Mm -hmm. The first color is dark blue. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this color. Where is it coming from? It is above or beyond and um, deep ether mm -hmm. and it is calm there and my guide is the purple and green light mm -hmm. very good and as you look at yourself, observe what you look like. Um, I started on the bench as a young girl, singing her feet. And then when we left the bench, um, I took the form of a adult female in a light body mm -hmm. uh, very translucent of not um, not much matter at all mm -hmm. so let's continue on this journey mm -hmm. and tell me where where you go now what do you see in your mind's eye clear the forest. Mm -hmm. I always like the forest. Describe this forest for me. What does it look like? Uh, we're over the top of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's just kind of like a reintroduction to earth. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a nice place to start. There's a waterfall. We're still flying. Mm -hmm. The blue is lighter now. Very good. As you see this blue getting lighter, how does that make you feel? It's uh, really bright here. Mm -hmm. um, it's a f faster in a way. Mm -hmm. Like there's just... Um, um, more information um, or more chatter uh, uh, so the, the chatter and the frequencies in the air are are unorganized mm -hmm. um, so I'm just getting used to that. Mm -hmm. So connect with your emotional body mm -hmm. and see how that feels. It still feels uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it hits in the heart. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'd like for you to connect with your guide and have your guide dialogue back and tell you what's happening. What is going on with this in the heart?
We're just processing and filtering mm -hmm. um, collective conscious uh, conversations mm -hmm. and aligning them to be able to work with the them and the constructs of the shape of the grid around the planet. Mm -hmm. Is that your role? Yes, that is one thing mm -hmm. uh, to do here. Um, Explain that to me. What is it that you're going to be doing with the grid of the planet? It is a heart-centered activity. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's it's not a big deal. It is um, something that is occurring, and this is something to, that she can tap into and clear a grid system, anchoring in the grid system that is being anchored in by many. Mm -hmm. um, this happens in the heart center. Mm -hmm. um, and it is clearing the things that, like she said, she's worried about or whatever is the abundance. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, abundance coming from a frequency of love and uh, nurture and allowing the planet to um, pull her full nurturing ability out to the people that live here so that they can once again connect to the earth and to the love. Mm -hmm. But is, as she is nurturing others, she's not nurturing herself that much. This is a nurturing experience mm -hmm. um, because uh, as she anchors the love and abundance, the abundance and love grows from within, changing the patterns and cellular structure, and it is um, part of what her form is meant to do, um, how it arrived on this planet it is meant to, um, allow that restructuring and that restructuring is the only thing that nurtures her. Mm -hmm. oh. So as she gives, she receives? So much. Mm-hmm. Um, and for a long time, the giving uh, needed to be blocked because it was not ready to be anchored. So now that the space is open and the anchoring um, is becoming uh, more clear or stationary or direct, constellation words there um, it uh, is aligning her system to uh, finally open or reopen into that space, there's some toroidal space of um, consistency, of flow, of energy given and renewed and received. Mm -hmm. um, How is this energy being renewed? Uh, through a tor toroidal system, mm -hmm. uh, everything that comes in goes out and uh, flips inside out and right side in mm -hmm. in a consistency of flow 
as we're looking at this sea of flow, how does that affect her chakras? Her heart chakra is becoming more stable. Mm -hmm. um, she noticed right now as she was feeling that that love and the abundance of love and the anchoring um, that there was some shakiness, but it did not collapse, mm -hmm. uh, which is a good sign. Mm -hmm. uh, and there is a slight pain right now over her physical heart. Mm -hmm. What's causing that pain? Um, there is a fear of um, letting go, maybe that uh, irrational fear that the flood will be too much. Mm -hmm. um, and the flood is okay. Um, so let's take a look at this fear. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to amplify that fear and let's find out where it's coming from. It is directly over the heart and right. it is red hot. Mm -hmm. and, um, so let's amplify that. I'm going to go ahead and begin counting from one to three, amplifying that heat there, that blockage, that fear. And when I get to number three, we're going to find the origin of what created that fear. Let's take a deep breath in now and begin now. One, amplify it even more. As I tap your forehead, amplify it even more. Two, make it bigger and bigger. Feel it getting bigger and bigger. And three, Let's find out where that origin of that fear began. There is some green there. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a lot of black there. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at what that is. What is this green and black on her heart? This is um, and It goes right up into the back of her head. Mm -hmm. What is that? Is that coming from her, or is it attached to her? Uh, it's a program. Uh-huh. Um, Who installed that program for her? Yeah, it is mechanical. Mm-hmm. And it is um, also... Uh, is it a chip? Let's find out. Let's go deeper and deeper. Look deeper and deeper, amplify it, zoom in and see where it is and what it is. It is directly in between like the second and third or third and fourth rib. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Just here. All right. As that spot is touched, let's find out who put that chip in there. I came at birth. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's go back in time. See yourself getting younger and younger as I count backwards from five to one. When I get to number one, we're going to see who put that chip in there. Taking a deep breath in now, five. Going back in time. No place, no time. Traveling back. Four. Getting younger and younger. Three. Looking for that moment when the chip was installed. Two. Getting clearer and clearer. Connecting with the images. One. Totally clear now. Seeing what it was. There is like a long metal, almost like tweezers connected mm -hmm. to some sort of being possibly also mechanical. Mm -hmm. um, it is still kind of an etheric chip. Mm -hmm. um, 
but it is computerized and it is electronic. Uh, this is also what causes the weird pulse sensation in her chest. Mm -hmm. um, luckily, her heart has been protected, uh, so uh, it uh, no, it does it zaps the heart, um, and and it also um, it has grown like like a weird mechanical spider kind of structure-y uh, thing and almost like an unfolding and it unfolded attached to the back of her spine, heart center spine mm -hmm. and unfolded back up into the back bottom part of her brain. And what is the purpose of this? Connect with it? Well, we don't like this. Mm-hmm. Who we'll put that in there? Robots. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who is programming those robots. Let's follow them. Follow it back to who is the programmer of these robots. See them now. Is that the gray? I want you to see the programmers. Who sent these robots in to put this They're chip? kind of small and they have l large roundish heads. Mm -hmm. um, very skinny arms. Mm -hmm. So let's find out. And feet that flap on the floor. Feet that flap on the floor. Very good. Cold. Who are these beings? Well, yes, they are the greys. Mm -hmm. uh, a specific version of greys. Mm -hmm. And what is the purpose for them following this being that we call Kristen? Do they have a contract with her? Oh, and she's very annoyed. Mm -hmm. Um. This is a free will planet. Yeah. Did Kristen give permission to these greys to use her body? No, she did not. No, right. And she also knows that even though they may have put a chip, that even that will not stop what's ha what is supposed to happen mm -hmm. and what is happening. Mm -hmm. um, Being that she has free will, yeah. she can tell them to remove this chip. I'd like for the entity of Kristen to go ahead and connect with those entities that put that chip in there. And I'd like for you to go ahead and speak with them and ask them why they're doing this. Hmm. Hello, Gray. Why? She feels like commanding them to remove it. Mm -hmm. um, Bring up that power. Remove your chip. What do they say to her? It, it folded up and came out like a little suitcase. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I'd like for you now to go ahead and take a look if there's any other cords connected to any of these grays. Scan the body. See if there's anything else. There's something else on the right side of the back brain. Mm-hmm. Focus in on it. It is like a little plug. Um. Determine what it is. It's a, like a kind of like a cord, but like a tube, and um, sending uh, electric electrical 
information. Mm -hmm. Being that this entity is energy, I'd like for you to follow to see who is monitoring this being. Mm. Who is receiving this information? There's a ship mm -hmm. um, with a big control panel and they receive information from many um, through those cords. Mm -hmm. and let's find out if this entity named Kristen has agreed to have that put into her body to be monitored. No. Mm -hmm. She would like it gone now. All right, she's going to need to command that of them. Connect with those that are responsible for monitoring it. <laughs> she's taking me to your leader. Mm -hmm. Remove this tracking and electrical device now from this form and from all other forms that have not agreed to this. What happens next? There's a lot of um, things that are being like whipped back into their system. Mm -hmm. Um, and also, uh, that, that cord and electric had, um, affected somehow the right shoulder. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the right shoulder now mm -hmm. and let's begin making adjustments. I'd like for her guide to assist her mm -hmm. in using the necessary light or frequency to heal these areas where these chips and plugs and mm -hmm. electrical pulses were affecting this body. There is a, um, almost like a, like a, a thick, like, cotton or cream. Mm -hmm. Um, it is white and it is cooling all the electricity and, um, uh, soothing the impulses from the back of the head to the shoulder blade um, very good and then this um, this blanket must uh, go down the spine through the neck and the back of the throat to the back of the heart center and the spine and almost like a very thick, but um, silky, milky consistency. Mm -hmm. um, very cooling to the hot electricity. Um, is uh, must come forward from the back of the heart center. And now there is a um, clear, deep blue light as well. Mm -hmm. Um, what is that blue light for? It does something with uh, um, a radiation rays or ultraviolet somethings mm -hmm. um, uh, that the electrical impulses had created were were red, and so the blue is soothing um, and uh, balancing that. There's uh, some shuddering and some shivering. Mm -hmm. in her rib cage right now. Um, what, is, what is occurring in her rib cage? The electricity had done some damage. Mm -hmm. um, uh, As this is going through, I'd like for you to go ahead and balance the system, her system, to keep her body in a temperature that is comfortable for her as this is happening. Mm -hmm. That's nice, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Ah, deep blue, milky consistency can now come through the front of her throat, mm -hmm. almost like drinking it down. Mm -hmm. down. And as that blue is going through her throat, is there anything blocking that area? Yeah, there is uh, something that was misaligned that needs to be soothed. Mm -hmm. um, it was uh, a puncture, it flipped mm -hmm. something. Um, it was a vulnerable space to begin with. Mm -hmm. And now she thought she would have to wait for it to be healed, but it can be done now. Thank you very much. And the cooling is still going down the front of the rib cage. It is taking some time. As this is going down the rib cage, if you can describe what it's doing. There's still that little space where the chip was. Mm -hmm. um, that is uh, white hot now. Mm -hmm. um, so we're uh, deciphering. The system that can, uh, uh, it feels like there's some sort of um, hot goo that is working its way from the center out to the surface. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe we can leach that out a little bit. Very good, thank you. Uh, it's, it's not a pleasant experience. Mm -hmm. What would make her more comfortable? Allowing, she's resisting. Mm -hmm. So as you continue to do that, I'm going to speak with that subconscious mind of hers. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just count from 10 down to 1. I'd like for her to see herself going down a beautiful staircase allowing herself with each step as I count, beginning with 10, going down, allowing yourself more and more, releasing that tension, and nine, going deeper and deeper, allowing it more, feel it just releasing, and letting go, on eight, deeper, and deeper, and seven, relax, relax, allowing more, on six, down, 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 and five, deeper relaxed, deep. Number four, relaxed, relaxed, relaxed. And number three.
Kristen continues to relax. Tell me how her body is doing now. It is good. Mm -hmm. She is in a deep pool. Mm -hmm. And space in her heart. Electricity there is still smoothing. Mm -hmm. Tell me what that electricity in her heart looks like now. It's pink now. Mm, very good. Mm -hmm. Is that pink more allowing? Yes. Mm -hmm. There was some. Um, some attachments to that left shoulder mm -hmm. and the other side of the ribs on the left side, mm -hmm. and the elbow and the fingers on the left side, um, the collarbones, and this mm -hmm. is all. Were these attachments part of that spidery web? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, it wasn't mechanical there, but it was uh, electrical there. Mm hmm How does it look now? Has it been retrieved? Yes. Very good. Yes, this face, um, it will continue to heal. It's still a bit hot. Mm hmm uh, She said that she has a lot of heat from her lower chakras. What is going on? What is all this heat? all about. Yeah, everything below the diaphragm. Mm -hmm. um, all the organs, oh, they are, they are becoming um, lighter, mm -hmm. less dense, so they are releasing some uh, matter. Mm -hmm. um, Can you assist her today by accelerating? The speed in which she removes all of that heat. Yes, we will do it tonight. Very good. Can we begin the process right now of spinning those chakras and flinging off any matter or any blockages that may be stuck there? Yes. Mm hmm. Uh, root chakra. Mm -hmm. Let's begin spinning that, making it go faster and faster, and allow everything to just fly off of it. Mm. Anything stuck on. Kind of like shit hitting the fan. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fly it off. Yeah. Let's spin that fan. Spin those chakras. Let's get that root chakra just spinning and spinning. Spinning and spinning and spinning. Allow it to cool. As all of that that has been blocking it continues to spin off and begin to cool. And tell me how that looks. Um, yeah, there was there was energy that flung kind of off of it. Mm -hmm. um, not like, not like sparks in the sense that there was like fire, but mm -hmm. um, it looked kind of like that. Mm -hmm. um, right now it feels like there's a fullness. Mm -hmm. um, what is causing that fullness? Um, it is momentary mm -hmm. and it will be released. Very good. So let's continue spinning that chakra as we move up to the next chakra, to the orange chakra. Yeah, we like this orange chakra. Mm -hmm. Let's begin spinning that chakra, beginning to fling off anything that has been attached to it. Any emotions, mm -hmm. any entities, any belief systems, anything that's there. keeping her from creating. This is the area of manifestation. Let's release anything there. 
that's keeping her from creating her dreams. Yeah, she's clearing the, um, mm -hmm. the, the, almost like the fat cells above it. Mm -hmm. um, they were a little bit heavy. Mm -hmm. um, what is causing that? That, uh, we used to be useful, but it's not needed anymore. It was mm -hmm. part of what she was using to um, ground things and and to um, process. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they stored um, energy, mm -hmm. um, good energy, which was helpful in anchoring. Um, but they are no longer needed. There can be a clarity and a lightness, um, and a purity and clearness, clean. Yeah. Very good. Uh, How does that chakra look now? Um, I just spin it some more. Let's spin it some more. Bringing in some coolness, yeah. releasing that heat, releasing, releasing any any belief system that was holding her back from creating her dreams. So it feels like the energy wants to go up, but it needs to go down. Mm -hmm. Down. Sort of that tension. There's just tension in the hips. Mm hmm. Let's see what's causing that tension. That's again resistance. Mm -hmm. um, she needs to go back in that pool downstairs. Mm -hmm. That was a nice pool. So let's take her down. Just take a deep breath in. And allow herself to just dip right back into that pool once again. Immerse yourself. Going deeper and deeper into that pool. Very good as we continue working on the next chakra, our sacral chakra. Let's begin to spin that one. And this one is clearing stored fat, stored mm -hmm. information. Mm -hmm. um, it is information that can be released now. Very good. It doesn't need to be held anymore. Let's spin that one right off. <laughs> it spins like how an atom spins, like very like all over. Mm -hmm. And let's find out if there's any imbalance in that chakra, or is that the way she spins it? Um, it's just to fling off the energy mm -hmm. that's been. very good. Now it looks like th that one, and it um, looks like it spins like um, like a galaxy. Mm -hmm. I need the lower ones to do that too. Very good. And as you do that, I'd like for you to go ahead and continue soothing that part of the body. Keep working down with that sealing cream. Mm -hmm. Working your way all the way down. As the cream becomes more fluid and viscous, slippery. Mm-hmm. Um, And clear, not so milky. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, still some blue. What is causing that? Oh, it's a good blue. It's like a t bright, bright turquoise blue mm -hmm. that goes between turquoise and white. Um, so it's very light. 
very good like the aquamarine the aquamarine stones will be good for her lower chakras mm -hmm. so let me know when you're done with her chakras She needs to make the jewelry. Mm -hmm. She keeps talking about making the jewelry. She needs to make the jewelry. What about the paintings? Yeah. She has so many stored mm -hmm. in her. Um, her excuses are time and uh, lazy. Um, distracted. That's gonna, that's gonna, um, the, the thing removed from the heart center, this will help. Mm -hmm. um. And while we're talking and continue with her questions, I'd like for you to go ahead and look at her aura and let's begin to seal her aura completely. Mm. Take a look and see if there are any tears or holes there. Yes, we're um, running a clear diagnostic. It is transparent and rainbow at the same time. Mm -hmm. Through like smoothing out um, and strengthening like a, like a, Oh, there's a flutter in the heart right now. Mm -hmm. um, like a, um, like that uh, transparent rainbow bubble that um, deflects. It deflects. Very good. Yes. And since it deflects, we have been talking about the fact that when she goes to meditation, mm -hmm. she feels that there are some that may be accessing her energy field yeah what's causing that she tracks that and it's like you said they don't know um what they're doing um and it does feed from her mm -hmm. um uh, and it makes her mad in the sense of like insane because she focuses on it and gives it more energy mm -hmm. um so that's something that had something to do with the back of the neck and there was um a hole there the first side that we started working on the holes were the right side mm -hmm. that was where that last thing happened with the throat um and then there's a lot in the back when every morning and Every day, several times a day, she puts a protection around her, but that neck has always had a kind of dip. Mm -hmm. So uh, we can strengthen. There's a lot of uh, silver bright light there right now. Very good. Uh -huh. What would you recommend when she goes to meditation with all of these energy vampires? Oh, just leave. Okay, very good. No point. more productive ways to put new use to her time very good very good so she says that she wants to put some of her time in for a partnership mm. that she is now ready and wants a partner someone who has masculine energy to balance her out mm. why has she not allowed a partnership in her life She felt too dependent and intermingled or intertangled. Mm -hmm. um, she didn't feel that she had the strength of um, separation in unity. Mm -hmm. um, she also um, <laughs> simply said f was falling for the wrong guys. Um, so she, now, uh, her partner vibration has elevated, um, and the ego is no longer searching for, 
um, whatever creature comforts it had yearned for in the past. Um, that part of the ego has been satiated, mm -hmm. um, mostly satiated, satiated totally. This is clearing now in the brain, the fog clearing. Mm -hmm. So now that she has that partner vibration elevated, mm -hmm. what does that partner vibration do when one elevates it? Um, it repels the partners that would um, uh, recreate past patterns. Mm -hmm. And um, it shines and um, connects to those that um, future patterns uh, or um, structures can be created with. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now I'd like to ask, when she came here on Earth to do this mission, mm -hmm. to nurture, yeah. was there a partner there that came with her? Is there an aspect of her that will be doing this mission together with her? The sound for the answer is bouncing back and forth over the corpus callosum in her brain right mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. um, she she hasn't wanted to maybe uh, hear it. So uh, the partner, yes, um, but it can be. There are many. It can be. Okay. Very good. Oh, that's interesting. Do you have any advice for her about that? About how to identify this partner? Um, it will feel easy. Mm -hmm. um, it, it won't be contrived in any way. Very good. Now, she came here really for abundance, and mm. we talked about how she had a blockage there. Yeah. That a lot had to do with that heart center and the anchoring. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the work is um, so many of the new ones coming now are uh, accessing uh, and recognizing the true abundance in ways that haven't been prevalent on the planet. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a system restructuring and uh, this is... Um, This is the example that uh, she must lead. There are so many already showing um, this example. But she still has a block in how she's going to pay the rent. Right. Yeah, let's take care of this. Mm -hmm. um, Where is that block coming from? Take a look and see. Right in the t middle of the brain, right at the top of the brain stem. Mm -hmm. And it's curved, like an under curve. Mm -hmm. And what is that uh, blockage it, doing? It goes right up to the third eye. Mm -hmm. So she cannot see her future right now. And this is not, not normal and not, this is not the way. Uh, what is this? Did she put that block there? It is. It's, uh... This is saying no. Maybe there's some rainbow colors coming, so her pineal is clearing right now. Very good. Good, and then that that little block—it was like a, a 
Oh my gosh. Well, the spider web sheet attached in corner. Mm -hmm. Where did that come from? Did she create this? Yeah, it's almost like a membrane. That's mm -hmm. what it looks like. Uh, if she created this, we need to find out the reason why she created this. Okay. So I'd like to take her back to that memory of the first time she created this, and let's find out why. Oh. She saw much uh, when uh, this form was a young girl, very, very young. Mm -hmm. um, and that sent her... It's like a, the, the phrase second hymen is coming mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. So um, she put it there to protect um, something about seeing the future. So that uh, she wouldn't over control the lessons. Mm -hmm. Yes, and this is also um, something that um, she fears or feels to be aware of in um, overstepping in any kind of healing or teaching. Um, to let the full transmissions out um, and the full scenario show her uh, there is a fear there and right now it is contracting the high heart center mm -hmm. let's take Kristen back to that moment where she created this I'm going to count from five back to one when I get to number one we're going to talk to that personality of hers that created it Okay. Taking a deep breath in, going back in time, five, getting younger and younger to see when she created this blockage. Four, getting younger and younger. Three, beginning to see the scenario that caused her to create this. Two, seeing the people involved and the circumstances involving this. And one, be there now. She's at her grandparents' house. Mm -hmm. So loving there. Um, the grandmother uh, said that it was not safe to say those things. And so, um, she taught her to cover it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we need to have her talk to grandmother? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to count from one to three. And I want this little girl to talk to grandmother. One, two, and three. Little Kristen, talk to grandmother. What has she just told you? Mm, she said we should cover those things because um, it wasn't safe or it was scary. But now, you know, um, grandmother also came to Kristen after she died. And, she showed her many things and she apologized, but she didn't tell her how to take that skin off there. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk to grandmother now. One, two, and three. Grandmother, we need your assistance. Can mm -hmm. you assist us today? 
Yes. Oh. Kristen doesn't know how to remove what you told her to put there. What would you like to tell her today? Let's just peel it off like a band-aid. Mm -hmm. Show her grandmother. It's like peachy pink and we just kind of peel it back. It's like a little balloon. Mm -hmm. And it goes kind of deep, so this part's going to feel a little weird. Go ahead and assist her. And it kind of just pops up. Mm -hmm. um, and now it's outside and she can see it. Very good. So, Grandmother, would you like to remove that and take it with you? Yeah. Very good. What would you like to tell this little girl? She kisses me on the head and says, I love you. Mm, very good. Very good. Take a deep breath in. Little Kristen, would you like to ask or say anything to your grandmother? Mm, I just want her hugs. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to number three, I want you to give her a big hug. One, two, and three. Give her a big hug. Give her a big hug. Mm. Hold her tight. Hold her really, really tight. Feel her hugging you. That's right. Go ahead and connect telepathically and have grandmother give you advice. Advice for your life. Advice on how to create that abundance and beauty in your life. Abundance and happiness in relationships. Mm -hmm. What your grandmother tell you? <laughs> She and my grandpa are together mm -hmm. in true love and um, they came together and are always together. Um, they, they showed me little Kristen that um, uh, marriage and partnerships um, are healthy and balancing um, and beautiful and fun. Um, there's a fun kind of itchy spot right here. Mm -hmm. Um, she says she's sorry that she told me to put that there, that she was scared of these gifts. Mm -hmm. Very good. Can you forgive your grandmother now? Yes, it's not her fault. Very good. Mm -hmm. Can you forgive yourself mm -hmm. for putting that there? Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just grateful that it's gone now. Very good. So go ahead and give your grandmother a big kiss. And let's tell her goodbye and mm -hmm. disconnect completely. Disconnect from grandmother now. Very good. And now let's bring back your guide. I'd like to connect now with your guide. And I'd like to ask your guide to take a look at Kristen and see how that third eye looks now. We can put the Purple and green light clarity. Mm -hmm. There's a clearness now. The bubble gum bubble is gone. Mm -hmm. We're removing it also from the top part. And when you remove that and put in that purple and green light, how will that help her in her manifestation of abundance? That is a greater sense of clarity and security. Um, seeing more clearly um, that the money will be there. Mm -hmm. Very good. And also seeing it um, stack up so that it 
can go to work, like filling that storehouse like you talked about. Mm -hmm. um, this is a clear vision that she can hold more steadily now. Mm -hmm. Very good. Oh, yeah, it's an unwavering um, knowing now. Mm -hmm. Now, she had talked about cutting any cords from any other aspects of her or personalities that may be around there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look and see. Are there any cords attached to her that are keeping her from manifesting? We feel something just above the right ear. Oh, it is a whispering. Mm. So give to me any of that negative energy that you've been holding there. Any thoughts, any beliefs, any conclusions, anything that's been holding you back. Pull it all out. Let's send it to the universe for healing. Tell me when I have it all. So you have to go above the ear. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's pull it out. Yeah, pull it harder. Mm -hmm. Much lighter. Yeah. Very good. And now what we would like to put there in its place. Doctor in sound. Mm hmm So let's bring in the sounds. Mm -hmm. Breathe in. And now let's, now that we have her eyes cleared, let's dis disconnect completely from all of that energy. And let's now see in her mind's eye that beautiful room. I'd like for you to see that sacred space in your mind. There is a clear, clear blue up there. Mm hmm fun rainbow colors in the middle like a crystal um, projecting pure clarity through the pores of the forehead bone and on to a screen that is clear and Oh, it's like high def, <laughs> um, lots of rainbows coming mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And a steady pulse. Very good. So allow her to allow her to just feel this energy space, the space that she will be creating with all of these rainbow frequency, the pulsing, mm -hmm. and how it's going to affect those in that space. Allow her to feel it. That's a clear crystal energy. Mm -hmm. oh, it, uh, it is vibrationally aligned and serves to um, align that which is in front of her mm -hmm. um, and it clears pathways and it also um, provides a clearer shield in the auric field mm -hmm. um, uh, allowing n nothing to off-center it, so it, the, it is um, steady. Very good. Oh, yeah. Very good. And now that we have that space created, 
Let's continue with her dream of making an impact on the school system, creating something new. Yeah, this, um, this is uh, how she works. Oftentimes, um, uh, through that crystal in the head and. The crystal heart, which is still coming online, mm-hmm. um, we can merge them, and uh, it um, it creates like a bath, like a this 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 can um, this can hold a lot of people in that pure clear rainbow crystal mm-hmm. um, and it uh, it it allows um, others to see through their clear space as well mm-hmm. um, uh, yeah there doesn't have to worry about any an antagonistic uh, either projections or inflections um, it uh, it is a clear bubble the schools are clear like a grassroots movement comes mm-hmm. um, it starts small and it can go online quite quickly um, to spread quite quickly through the interconnection of the internet. Mm -hmm. Um, It moves very fast. Now, has she done this work before in other places? This is, this is the work that she does through the forehead with the clearing and the aligning. This is uh, a steady thing Mm -hmm. that she does on planets, um, sometimes with people, sometimes with just the planet. Mm -hmm. Where is she doing that now? Right now? Mm -hmm. It is. um, There's all the world. Mm -hmm. Um, It's so fun. It's like they're all coming through this space right now. All right. So allow her to see them so that she can feel that familiarity with her work that she does on other worlds. Many of them are young planets. Mm-hmm. Um, it's that's a steady uh, pulse there, so that it's undisturbed. On this planet, it became disturbed, and so it's needing a reset. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's time for the reset because the people coming are uh, ready for um, that space. They don't need to that have the other whatever else had been on this planet they didn't need that so mm-hmm. uh, yeah that's a, a cosmic gardening mm. is she a master gardener uh, yes and master builder mm-hmm. um, uh, builder is true because it is structures but gardening and tending is um, more of the flow of delivery Mm -hmm. and um, so have her see how she does this right now the pulse is um it's steady this way Mm -hmm. um and it's constantly up 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 like a rhythm like a um And then the colors come through like a harmony. Um, And then the rainbows play, projected through the clear crystal like a diamond, faceted like that. Um, And they move and the colors are 20 and 2. Mm-hmm. So how can she interpret this into creating something new in the school system? Um, 
there is a group of children that come to her home mm -hmm. um, and they play and learn. There are many teachers who come through the computer mm -hmm. um, and the children originally at the home are also the teachers and they teach the children through the computer. Mm -hmm. um, through the internet it's just it's a vehicle very good um, so she's infiltrating through there she's not going to the school system she's going through the children yes oh yes it's very the children good. that create this she just provides a structure for them to um, share very good yeah and what about those that she is working with these people the ones that have taken her course, they are creating a new um, business model in this area of hairdressing. Mm -hmm. um, there are many out there that are aligned to this. These brave ones are um, uh, kind of like forging the path. Mm -hmm. um, and this system also must go into the curriculum school systems for hairdressers and this is um she's so nervous about a proposal like she was nervous about the other paper thing um uh, so what i would like to ask on her behalf is for a guide who is an expert at writing proposals can we request that please yes who would you like to send her Valerie is one, mm -hmm. and Wei. Mm -hmm. Wei has input on this. Very good. Um, and there's a clear one coming right through the back of her head. Okay. Yes. What expertise does that one have? Um, that one takes all the information and delivers it properly perfectly thank you very much yes does that one have a name uh, that she could call it by name it's quite serious mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe it is a Syrian mm -hmm. um, it was just a, sh a shape a okay. color all right yeah. So I'd like to thank those that are stepping forward to assist Kristen with this proposal thank so that she can move forward and prosper with this new new uh, enterprise that she has to be able to change the life of these people. Thank yeah. you so much. Now, one thing that she is uh, concerned about is her health. The last time we met... She was able to stop smoking for a short period of time, but she was not able to stop permanently. What was keeping her from stopping smoking? Was part of that pattern from the um, chip. Mm -hmm. That thing got in the back of the brain. It was very, very annoying. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but since last time, uh, the patterns have been breaking down mm -hmm. um, at, uh, you know, and, and we were able to recognize it today. Mm -hmm. um, so food patterns and TV patterns broke down just recently in the cigarettes. <sighs> Something still wants to keep them. Mm -hmm. Well, this reminds me of a story decisions can be made today. We have no more smoking. Uh, this also will clear all the dirt that she sees on the planet. It's so dirty and she knew it was something in her and this is will clear it. Very good. Away. Very good. Is there anything else that you need to tell Kristen today? You will never smoke again. You will never smoke again. You will never smoke again. Very good. 
Is there anything else that I could have asked that you would like to tell Kristen here today? She's levitating right now. Very good. Mm-hmm. Very good. That's some good stuff. Five. Wide awake. Wide awake. Feeling clear headed and wonderful all over. Wow. Welcome back. Thank you. How do you feel? Oh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> how long do you think you were on this journey? Oh my gosh, it felt super quick. Like how quick? Like 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, you're like an hour and a half. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad, huh? Uh-uh. So do you remember everything? Uh, yeah, what do you remember? I remember stuff. I remember I will never smoke again. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely remember that. What about uh, how does your body feel? Oh yeah, that tip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Feels good. Yeah. Lighter. Yeah. Yeah. There was um. There was a lot of um. And how it folded up. Mm-hmm. Um. It just like a suitcase went. Out of there, huh? It was. It pulled it back down, and like it was like this, like tiny, tiny suitcase that they pulled out with tweezers. Amazing. Yeah. Um, oh gosh. This is quite different from the last one, huh? Yeah, really different. Mm, you see, each time you come, you have a different purpose, and we worked a lot on you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I really was needing that. Mm-hmm. Thank you. So, is this something you want to share? Or you want to keep private? Um, I mean, we can share this. I feel like I've, I embodied a lot of different things. Hi. Oh. So how do you feel? Clearer. Yeah? Yeah, lighter. Now, this is your second session. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody about this. What was the difference? Whoa, big difference. Mm -hmm. Um, I went a lot deeper, mm. like a lot deeper. And fast. And really fast. <laughs> like fast, like within seconds. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> it felt fast. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. And um, I really felt like um, like I trusted the whole process. Mm-hmm. Um, like there was just kind of like more trust within me. Yeah. Um, well, that's what happens when... When, when you come to a session, the first time you're kind of scared and the second time it's like, okay, I've been there, done that. So you let go. Yeah. But it, it and it felt like, like a familiar, unfamiliar, you mm-hmm. know, it was like, it was still a journey that yes. I didn't know kind of where it was going to go, but it mm-hmm. was, um, uh, like, you know, I, I had a good guide. I had a really mm-hmm. good guide. And when we started this session, it was a little bit different, um, the, the beginning of the session didn't come out on video. Uh, I had you sit in a, in a garden and oh, yeah. your guide came and you just started flying. Oh, and that's how yeah. we started. We, that, that was the beginning of it. I did like that. Yeah. Yeah. I like that a lot. And that guide, I remember even from our last session, the purple and green. Beautiful. Uh-huh. And that's the same thing that was put into your heart, that purple and green. Yeah. At the end. And into my third eye. So how does your, how do you feel? Yeah, this is going to be interesting to work with every day. Yeah, Uh and you've been doing a lot of work with your chakras, and that came out in the session that you, you know, you needed to clear more. I did, Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it still feeling hot? Um, no. (laughs) I had to check into that. No, it's not still feeling hot. There's there's a lot of coolness now. Mm -hmm. I feel like... um, and we hit like every single chakra mm-hmm. and they all kind of needed different things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just remembering like that, like milky, whatever that the cream. Yeah. That kept going through you and soothing you. Yeah. yeah it was wild. That what that yeah. was really interesting. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, w- w- what I'd like to tell people is that, um, you are here when you're supposed to be here because it's divine guidance. And you went to Miami the last time mm-hmm. and you were on YouTube 
What was your uh, number? It was sparkle something. Yeah, something um, with the sparkles, bringing sparkle energy or something sparkle like. Sparkle energy, I think. Yes. Like, yeah. And that was totally different than what we did today. Yeah. Totally different. Yeah, I what, felt. What? I felt like that one. Um, uh, we didn't do much kind of like on planet stuff. Like mm -hmm. we did a lot of like. Yeah, off planet. Yeah. <laughs> work. Um, and um, that one. There was a ton of clearing. I feel like so much more clearing than I even really knew at the time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and things that have been playing out just over the past couple of months. Mm -hmm. um, uh, like I was telling you earlier, when I got this appointment, just it came up and it was like, uh, I have appointments open and I just clicked on it thinking I wouldn't get it. And it just kept going and I just, and the appointment just kind of kept coming. So I was, I was so excited. So you see now what you needed to do. What? You need to be here to clear all of this. Yeah. 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 Cause it was, it was so quick, like the transformation from last time. Yes. And it was like this stuff, like everything was just moving so much faster that yeah. this stuff couldn't continue. No. So what would you say to all of those people who are looking for a session and are frustrated cause they can't? You know, so that first session, um, I think I waited almost a year. Mm -hmm. And I booked it and then it kept getting like rescheduled <laughs> and I kept telling myself like, okay, like this is going to be the right time. Um, and then it would get rescheduled and I'm like, okay, like this is going to be the right time. <laughs> um, and sometimes it got rescheduled earlier. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was, it was exactly right. Mm -hmm. Um, at that time. Um, and I, like I said, like, I thought when the second appointment came up, I thought there's no way like <laughs> I'm going to get this, you know, <laughs> like I just, and, and it, and it went through. Yeah. And so it really, yeah. 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 And you, you're, you've done a lot of new things since the last time I saw you. I mean, then you were just planning to do it and now you're actually doing it. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. a laundry list of new yeah. things. Yeah. Is there anything you want to tell everybody about what you're doing? A little bit different? Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know if this is going to make sense to everyone, but I'll just say it the way I, that I know um, what the work is. The work is um, working on um, the matrixes of abundance, um, creating um, and anchoring in those true kind of earth, nature, abundance matrixes that mm -hmm. are true to the planet. And so um, all the false grids are kind of being eliminated. Um that's, that's one level of work. And then, um, another level that is anchoring is, um, it really all is kind of the same anchor. It's all anchored through the heart. I remember mm -hmm. that. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was, yeah. yeah. Um, but I'm really excited about, um, the new work that I've stepped into with the healing. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that there's going to be a lot more yogic teaching with mm -hmm. that. Um, mm -hmm. and hopefully I'll get to work more with the mamas. Mm -hmm. Um, and you were told to make jewelry. Do you remember that? Oh yeah. You were supposed to make more jewelry and paint. Yes. Yeah. The paintings, God, there's so many paintings stacked up that uh -huh. need to just come out. Yes. Um, I've got some canvas and I can start on a, I have a series of five, uh, earth fairies that we're starting on. <laughs> so maybe if you're interested, you can contact Kristen for a painting. Yes. Or so jewelry. right now I currently have, um, oh, well, don't look at my website today, but by the time <laughs> this comes out, you'll, my website will be up. So it's kristenandrea.com. That's my hair website for the work that I do in hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, maybe I'll be able to put some links in the future, um, for the artwork and the jewelry. Mm -hmm. Um, I also keep getting this thing about a yoga fashion line for mm -hmm. all natural white cotton. Mm -hmm. That's a thing. Mm -hmm. And right now we are in Los Angeles. So Kristen is from Los Angeles, from this, from this area. Yeah. 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 Great. Well, thank you for watching. Um, if you want a session, go to my website, albawyman.com. You have to subscribe to my newsletter. It comes out about once a month and it may be in the U S it may be elsewhere, but it does come out. And, uh, if it's meant to be for you, you'll get links, click on the links for my calendar and if it's supposed to be, it will be. You'll get a, a session with me. And go to the events page. Tons of good events coming up. Yeah, we are. You are spreading the love in other places. So yeah, go to the events page too. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you. Give it a oh. 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 Oh.